Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. This is Big Los, and we are at the docks of Highcliff. Now, after you leave the Lizardmen, don't forget to come down here because somebody left their baggage. So, we're going to open up all of these treasure chests, and we're going to get all the gems that are inside. And they actually have quite a few good crafting gems down here. And yes, it is going kind of slow again, unfortunately. Some days it just does that. I don't know why. You know, it's not like there's a lot of memory being used up in other parts of my computer. It's just... Sometimes the computer just wants to have a brain fart. And we're going to have to use a lockpick on this chest because obviously the lock is very complicated. Alright, so we get about... Three scrolls, some shurikens, and some darts. Alright. Oh, and here we got a rogue stone, quartz crystal, and a cold stone. Cold stones can be used not for making ice cream at the creamery, but they use for making frost traps. Detect undead. Don't I have that spell already? I guess I could give that one to Eleni. We'll put that and in that into the magic bag, and I guess we'll put that one in two. And we'll put those in there. Okay. Do we have Detect Undead anywhere? Not here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Let's just keep looting these treasure chests. Oh, what do we got here? North Wind Bow. It's a plus three, it's mighty plus three, and it gives you resistance cold 20. And we got an obsidian, healer's kit plus six, and a gold ring. We got some potions, some plus one bolts, and another summon yes. creature spell. Probably put that with the other plus ones that I believe so. we have core equipped with. And we've got one more treasure chest, and we get a bunch of scrolls and an armor of acid resistance. Looks like my inventory was full. They got shurikens in there too. Looks like we're gonna have to consolidate. Give that one to Eleni. We could probably give this one to Eleni too. Visibility. Don't I have that spell? I gotta check. Throwing axes always go to Kelgar. And this robe of acid resistance gives you resistance to acid 15. We could sell that. Yep, here's our chance to get even more money, even though I'm close to 600,000 gold. Really no need to spend it. I mean, what are we gonna buy? Let's see, we got visibility here. I guess I don't have that scroll. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll just combine the Jadel's electric loop, however you pronounce that. Yeah, I guess we don't have invisibility, which is kind of strange. I would figure that would be one that would actually be in my inventory. Okay, well, I guess we'll see if we forgot anything. Oh, yeah, this one. So we got, what do we get? We got Contagion. Oh, well, I guess that's another one we can give to Eleni. Gust of Wind. Oh, Eleni, it looks like it's just your day-to-day -day for scrolls. And then we got these plus one shurikens. We'll just put them back into the magic bag. 
Alright, so those are all the treasure chests that you can get down here. And now we are going to head back, but we're not going to go back to Crossroad Keep. We're going to go back to the Merchant Quarter. Trap triggered? You mean there was a trap there? Who put the trap there? Was it the lizard folk? And what type of trap was it? And why didn't it show up on the screen as red right before I triggered it? Right now I'm looking for any other secrets that might be here. I guess there's nothing over here, so I guess we will go to the other side of town. I mean, there's a lot of burned houses and crates stacked everywhere. I'm trying to press Z to highlight stuff to see if something will show up. It's not looking so good, and it, the frame rate is getting kind of shaky with the uh, camera software going right now. I mean, it's not horrible. It was pretty bad down on the docks. If it gets real bad, I might have to stop the video, turn off the recording, and then restart it again. For some reason, that always fixes the problem. Maybe it's because of the length of the video files that are created. Maybe after they reach a certain size, they start really taxing the software. Or the hardware, I should say. I don't know. Maybe somebody who has experience with that could leave a comment letting me know that. Okay, so we're going to go to the Merchant Quarter. And let's go have a word with Axel. He tried to kill me. Let's go on in and we'll talk to his guard right here. And now we can go on in. So let's see if Axel wants to explain himself or what. And what's up with these shadow thieves? Was anything put into these armoires as of late? I guess not. Alright, let's talk to... Them. Oh, okay. So, here starts another cutscene. And I guess I go I'm going in alone? I heard of your arrival. Has Nasher called you here to Neverwinter? I don't think so. You called me here. What's up with these dialogue options? Prob with Moya? My messenger? How do you know this messenger spoke with my voice? Oh, uh, I don't, actually. Oh, so in the future, should I come directly? Perhaps that would be best to avoid any confusion. You know what? Okay, we got some diplomacy options here, but... Why is it saying that Moya turned on him? Is it, like... Something that wasn't said before? And what's up with that dialogue, dialogue option? What's with the A with the thing over it? An excellent decision. As if you had spent some time considering it already. You seem to be always thinking in advance. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Alright, I guess we'll talk about Moya. I do not need help with Moya. I am requesting you deal with her. Do you understand? I fear you do not, but I am not surprised. We have had difficulties in communication lately. The matter of tribute, for one. And why should I pay you this tribute, huh? Oh, I already paid it. Yeah. And he didn't reach you. <laughs> Then it must have gotten lost on the way. It is a shame that you do not do more to patrol your own roads. 
It makes it hard for an honest merchant to continue his trade. But enough of this. I heard that your own people in your keep attempted to kill you. My condolences. I heard of the matter from Uncas. Oh, really? So you and him are talking? And he's the one who said it was you. Huh. We speak on occasion more frequently than you and I, yes. He knows much about your keep and its workings while you are away, and as such, is of value to me. So on to the matter at hand. My left hand, in fact. Moya. Regretfully, she has strayed. And I need her brought to heel. She and her men have chosen to cause trouble in the docks. Shipments for the war and your keep are being disrupted. And without such supplies, I fear the war effort will be lost before it begins. Okay, so what do you want me to do? She is said to have a safe house in the merchant district. Find it and deal with her. Okay, where? That, I'm afraid, you will have to discover for yourself. Oh, such a big help you are. I cannot send any of my men to track it down without being discovered. Their faces and movements are too well known. You have been away for some time. Perhaps you will have better luck than I. I suggest trailing one of her men. Among many of Moya's failings is a standing order to have her men constantly reporting in to her. Okay, well, I guess you and her are real alike then, huh? Amusing. I hope you are able to deal with Moya and not the other way around, for I will miss your wit. Normally, her underlings would apply some measure of discretion, but the panic in the air has inflamed Moya's desire to assert herself. Her men seem to be rather brazen with their activities in the merchant quarter, for one. I would start there. All right. I guess we'll do this then. Okay, so now we have to go look for Moya. Okay, I guess these guys don't talk. That guy doesn't have anything on him. What about this guy? Okay, this guy has gold on him, so we're going to rob him for a little while. Anyways, once you go find Moya, and you talk to her, you will be able to convince her to let you come back and kill Axel. And then when you do that, she will give you 50,000 gold for it. She won't say it before you do it. So, that's a very desirable outcome. Plus, she will give you the dagger that you would get off of her body if you went and killed her. Now, if you go and kill her, and then come back to Axel, he'll just attack you anyway, and try to kill you, and then they'll both be dead. Therefore, I believe the best option is to leave Moya living, and then come back and deal with Axel, and then you go back to her and you get the 50,000 gold that you ought otherwise would not get. So you have to go and find Moya's men. And looks like we got some right here. And eventually you gotta convince one of them to tell you where the hideout is or you gotta trick them into doing it. So these thieves are robbing these citizens back here as they're trying to leave. Unfortunately, for this group, there is no way to convince them to tell you where it is or to trick them into telling you. They'll just attack you, so we're just going to kill them. Alright. Wait a minute. Why is everyone else back here? I can do that. Did it give the order to Follow have me. you guys stand your ground? Enemies are near. What's up with that? Yeah. Alright, well, yeah. I guess technically I could take all these guys off here by myself. I mean, they're not really that hard, they're just a bunch of thugs. You know what? 
let's tell everybody to attack. Your weapons. Maybe now they'll come yeah. help out. Yeah. With you. Even though it just doesn't look like I need any help. Yeah. Well, thanks, Casimir. Okay, so we got some potions, some thieves tools, and some gold. Okay, so... This map really hasn't been updated. I think they added a couple of new things here, but they didn't take out the ones that are defunct, like Paps, for example, or Deacon. So we're going to head to that storage area. And we're going to check out what's going on over there. Because we have to go try to find some more of Moya's thugs. And I do believe that's where another group is. And in that case, it might be able to work to trick them into showing you where her hideout is. Okay, we don't have any over here. And there's nobody over there. So that just leaves going this way. Alright, and I don't think that patch of gems is there anymore. That we got from Phylus. So we got a city watchman back here, but behind him are some thieves, and this guy really isn't paying too much attention if there's some thieves back there. I guess you can't rob him either. Okay, so when you get to right here, these thieves are talking about breaking into this house. Apparently they want some magic items, but looks like the ward killed two of them. So, two of them start running, so let's go chase after one of them. That guy isn't moving. See, if you talk to him, he doesn't do anything. But this guy is running. So, I guess we will chase him and see if he leads us to where Moya is. Yep, says he's one of Moya's underlings. Taking advantage of others. There we go again with the slow camera. See, I guess he stops in order to give you a chance to catch up to him. So... Are you gonna, you gonna go or what? What are you doing, just standing there? Let's see if we can. See if you walk into him. I think that can goad him into moving. What's that in his hand? Looks like some Egyptian artifact or something. Are right, you just gonna? not go to Moya's? I don't know, maybe I followed the wrong one. Maybe I should have went with the other guy. Okay, now he's moving. Maybe now he'll take me to where Moya is. Um, where are you going? This doesn't look like the way to Moya's. Oh, hell no! He disappeared! And there's no way to go after him. He went to the docks district. Great, now what are we gonna do? I don't know, if we go back for that other guy, he might have already left and disappeared into Moya's place already. Well, that's just wonderful. 
I think there's a third group of thieves that you can go talk to. So let's go try to find them. I do believe that one of them you could convince to tell you where the hideout is. And I'm not really sure where they are, so I guess we're just going to have to wander around here in a wild goose chase. Let's see, can we go into the Moonstone Mask? Is that where Moy is hiding? No, I guess it's closed for the season. Where could these guys be? How about if we go back here? Is there anything? Oh, there's some guys back here. Alright, let's talk to them. What do you... You guys break it into a house too? Alright, take me to Moya, you're dead. Alright, so I guess we'll just fight these guys. Shouldn't take much to beat all of them. Alright. After you defeat them, one of them will surrender. So... Let's... Get the information. Alright, so he's told us that where Lulden... Old hideout was... That's where she's at. And the password is the whole of Neverwinter. Alright, so we let him go. He'll live to rob another day. We got a plus one short bow. And we got some potions and some thieves tools. Alright, so let's head on over to Lowland's place. I guess it was a smart decision to move in there since Lowland's dead. He's not going to be using it. Wow, we sure got a lot of thieves tools. How come we can't consolidate those plus three thieves tools? What's up with that? Did we steal one and the one that you stole won't mix with the others that you didn't steal? Who knows? This game is weird sometimes like that. Alright, so here's Lowland's place. Let's go knock on the door. Actually, we have to unlock it, and then it'll tell us that we've knocked on it. Alright, so when it says, what do you want? Let's say, the whole of Neverwinter. Door opens, we can go on in. Alright, here's Moya. Alright. Oh, I'm still a dock rat in your eyes? And you think I stole the title? To Crossroad Keep? Bending to Axel's every whim, huh? Okay. Okay, well, he did send me to kill you, but I'm looking for a better deal. Do you have one? Oh, okay, so... That's why you two had a falling out then, huh? Kill Axel and you'll show us that we'll have a future with you or something? Okay, what can you offer me? How about my life? I could kill you with two strokes. And you can't even touch me. Okay, you'll make me one of your top lieutenants if I kill him. And you'll reward me accordingly. And how can I trust you? Okay, I guess we can work to those terms. I already told you what you would get if you agree to it. 
and it's a lot more than the alternative. Alright, so you can't steal anything from her. What about this guy? And these Shadow Thieves don't talk at all. Okay, that guy has gold you can steal. What about this guy? This guy also has gold you can steal. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. No, this guy you can't steal anything from. And you can't steal anything from him. Okay, so we'll steal from those two guys. We'll rob him blind. Okay, he won't have any more because we rolled a 29 but only got 23 gold out of it. And we won't get any more from that guy because we rolled a 22 and only got 8 gold. If he had more gold, he would have given us exactly the amount that we rolled for. But you know that already. Alright, so we're going to go out here and then we're going to put buffs on. And we'll meet you back at Axel's place. So let's put these buffs on. Okay, and here we are by Axel's place. I apologize for the hard cut. So let's go on in here. And we will... Go on back in here and deal with Axel. Moya still lives, yet here you stand. Perhaps you are here to inform me Moya's words have swayed you to her side. Maybe. Can you pay me more than she will? Negotiate? I think not. We have spoken enough, and your deeds speak far louder than your words. And know that if you should somehow best me, Captain, well, your troubles are just beginning. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is kind of challenging. We have been split off from the rest of our party, and we have to deal with these Shadow Thieves. Well, Axel is going to go buff himself up. Meanwhile, the rest of the party has to deal with these Shadow Thieves over here, and we have a locked door between us. So we're going to set the rest of the party to kill all of these Shadow Thieves, and I guess we'll try to use strong magic to do it. By the shadows of Merdalene. I think we should use... Let us press the attack. Like a lightning. Call lightning or something. Let's see. Do we have one that we can use? There we go. Call lightning. Okay. Because we have, because we have them all in close proximity. Let's try to take these guys all out. Oh no. We've been dazed. I can do that. And there's nothing we could do about it now. So now we have to go see if we can bash the door down. Can't unlock it. Let's see if we can do enough damage to this door. Wait a minute, there's still thieves back there? See, we're dazed, but we can't move. Now, it's not like we're having a lot of damage. In fact, I, I don't think they're even hitting me, but still, I can't move. Okay, we still got enemies here to deal with. So let's use, like, Arc of Lightning and Horrid Wilting ought to do it. Looks like Axel is trying to cast, like, a Wand of Lightning or something. Let us press the attack. Oh, looks like you guys are taking a lot of damage back here. What's up? How are you breaking that door down? Oh, you broke through. Okay. 
Come on in here and help then, everybody. To your weapons. And don't let up. Alright. What are you casting? Gust wind? Okay. I can live with that. Uh, looks like we have company. Why can't you move into the room? Okay, here we go. What was that all about? Okay, now we're just left with Axel, even though Quora is down to six hit points. I think we can take him out before anybody dies. Oh, okay. We did it! We got about 705 XP for that. You're still dazed? What the hell did he cast on you? Yeah? Okay, well, in the meantime, why don't you pick this stuff up, Kilgar? Okay, this is all Axel's gear right here. So we'll grab that. I guess we'll sell that off later. Oh, I forgot to mention, after the lizard folk battle last episode, I went around and collected all the treasure bags that well, no. the warriors left. What do you want? It wasn't a lot of important stuff. Just some enchanted armor, a couple of breastplates and stuff. We'll sell it all later. Off camera, of course. Failure disabled device. Hmm. Okay, it is kind of high up. Oh, he took 60 damage of acid from that? Looks like it would have been 65 because of the damage resistance from the ring of power that he's wearing. Okay, so we have to use one of these these toolkits to open it. Okay, now we got a falcon and her favorite blade. It's plus three, electrical 1d8, and you can use bull strength. We could probably get a lot of money for that when we sell it. What else do we have that we could put away? No. I'm going to have to do a lot of inventory management after the end of the episode. Yes. So, well now. What do you want? I suppose we'll just have all my other party members pick up all these treasure bags over here. Follow me. And then we'll go through everything and see what we can keep, what we can sell. Most likely we'll just sell everything. Bullets we're gonna sell. Oh, that must have been the key to the door. Okay. We got potions here. We could probably keep those. We got an armor. We got another armor. We'll have to identify later. Well, no. We'll have the captain look what at it. And he'll be able to tell what it is. All right. And I guess we'll just anything changed here? No. Go through this door. Oh, it's locked? Oh, that must be what the key's for. Yes. Alright. Casavir, you have the key. Open it up, please. Alright, so I guess we'll go back to Moya's and we'll meet you back here. And here we are. Back at Moya's place. Alright. Hey, guess what? It's done. Yeah. And we got one more point towards Chaotic, of course. You know, my loyalty goes to the highest bidder. I expect a big cut, by the way. Yep, yeah, and we got the 50,000 gold pieces and we got a dagger. Things are going to get very interesting indeed. Okay, yeah, I, I did prove my usefulness. So, what's up with this dagger that we got? 
What is this? Leech. Well, I guess we could sell that too. Alright, so what's gonna happen at the Shadow Reaver camp? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And Tango and Buendia.